apologizing to you all for not being as present as I could be. For those of you who don't know, I am currently in school and right now the semester is in full effect. I'm trying to end on a high note and be successful like the song go. With that said, you guys have my apology. It's an honest, wholehearted apology. Hopefully you accept it and let's hop right into the damn topic of this discussion, girl. One thing that I do not motherfucking like, Miss Bitch, is a person who will be upset with you when they are in the wrong. Okay? You are incorrect. But yet, you want to be blowing up on my ass like candy when it was your fault that we had the error to begin with. Oh, no. No. That's not how it works. You see, how it works is, if anybody's going to be upset, it should be me. Because you made the motherfucking mistake, and so therefore, I should be getting your ass together. The whole point that you think that you're about to come for me when you were the one who was wrong is not happening. Okay? So there's this female at my school, and I believe that she had a crush on me, right? I don't know, I could be wrong, but I do believe she had a crush on me. One day, I was sitting there having my lunch and I saw her <clears throat> and a couple of other females, they were sitting at a table. Now, as they were sitting at this table, they, every time I would look up, I would see them looking at me and they would kind of giggle like, ah, ha, ha. very high school, you know, school girl type of situation. So for me, I wasn't going to be ignorant and be like, bitch, I'm gay, da, 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 da. don't be looking at me because I believe that's ignorant. I hate it when straight people do it. I hate it when gay people do it. Ignorant. It's unnecessary, unwarranted, and just a waste of fucking time you're putting on a show when no one even bought tickets for your motherfucking production. So basically, you're putting a show on for yourself. But that being said, you know, and I didn't want to entertain her because I don't want to lead her on because that's not what I do. And if I were to lead her on, then I would be the one in the wrong. And I do believe in karma, and I'm not trying to have that happen to me, so therefore I'm not going to do it to her. Okay, fine. As I finished my lunch and I began to hit, you know, head towards the exit, she decided she was going to speak to me. So basically, I can't remember how she called me over, but she called me over and she gave me some type of compliment. I can't remember the exact compliment because it was a little while ago, so I can't remember it verbatim. But whatever it was, I smiled, I said thank you, I pumped it. Okay, so after that, when I would see her, I would say hi, bye, how you doing? Very, you know, very simple, small talk. Okay, fine. I don't know what happened. I don't know when the situation went bad, when it went sour. Nor do I give a fuck, bitch. Let me explain. All of a sudden, we went from being very pleasant to being very nasty. I don't know what happened. One day, I was sitting there eating my lunch once again. I saw her. I waved to her. I know she was looking at me. I waved to her, just being very friendly, cordial, whatever the case might be. Because I thought we had a, you know, like an association, a platonic association. But, bitch, when I waved to her, she gave me this whole little situation like, rolling her eyes. And my whole thing is... Bitch, I don't even know your name. I have nothing bad to say about you yet because I don't know you like that, bitch. We've had, you know, we've talked in passing, but we've never had a conversation of substance. So I know nothing about you to speak on you or ill will about you or anything of this nature. You know nothing about me. But then again, maybe she does. Maybe she knows me from YouTube. I don't know. But that's even besides the fucking point, bitch, because guess what? I never put on. I never put the fuck on for you. I never made it out like I was something that I was not, bitch. If you had just asked me a question, which really is none of your business. I mean, see, this is what I mean. I mean, it's like, I just don't even know how to handle the situation necessarily because, number one, bitch, you don't have no place to ask me if I'm gay or not because it's none of your fucking business. But at the same token, if you found out that I was gay through the grapevine, bitch, you gonna be upset with me? Really? Is that how you wanna play the situation? Okay, so fine. So, I'm thinking to myself, this bitch is really trying it. But I said, you know what, that's a-okay with me. If she doesn't like me anymore, that's okay because she wasn't paying no bills of mine. She was not doing anything that was gonna further my situation. So, I really didn't give a fuck. And I think that... Sometimes with individuals, they like to feel like they're more important than they really are. I don't know what the fuck she's been sipping on, what she's been smoking, what she's been snorting. But bitch, come down from that high, bitch, because clearly you are disconnected from reality. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about you. You know, like, if we never speak again, it wouldn't, I wouldn't lose a, a sleep over it. Like, really, I'm not even sweating the situation. And I think what she was wanting was for me to be like, oh my god, what happened? Like, why the fuck? And I don't give a fuck. So I paid it. I was like, oh, really? Okay, that's fine. So I continue to eat my little pop tart. Fine. They had a competition at my school. And, you know, the competition was basically for um, independent artists um, to come and perform their music. And if you won, then you would get to open up for, I believe it is, um, Algebra, um, Sammy and Lloyd. Okay, fine. So, when I came up there, apparently, I'm guessing she's a part of student government. I didn't know that, but, hey, happy surprise. So, I'm sitting there having a conversation with another one of the artists who was going to be competing with myself. 
and I had she was I was saying something about they were having a karaoke at my school. And, um, you know, uh, but the karaoke was going to be with a live band. She was like, oh, word. I'm like, yeah. And she was like, um, so when is that? I'm like, from my understanding, it's tomorrow. Here this bitch come. Cutting into my conversation. Talking about, I'm actually, no, it's later on today. Just very nasty. Like, and I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, oh, well, such and such told me that it was, before I can even finish my statement, okay, that's fine. But it's today. And I'm thinking to myself, this bitch really don't know. Like, you really don't know who you're talking to right now. And I'm not saying nothing about fuck a damn YouTube, fuck my website. I'm not even talking about all that. I'm talking about just in general as a person. Like, but you really don't want me to come for you. Because from head to toe, I could just trash your life. Like, word on the street, bitch. I could just motherfucking demolish your whole fucking being. And you wouldn't like it. Like, word up. Like, I can just go in on this lace front. Like, word, you know, you were supposed to treat yourself. Not treat yourself with this cheap-ass lace front, bitch. Sitting up here going to meet motherfucking Benita's. You know, Benita's hair supply, bitch. Trying to be cute, trying to floss on these hoes, bitch. But your hair is made from dental floss. Please, girl, you look cheap. You look cheap, and I don't know why you thought it was cute to make your hairline start like a quarter inch away from your eyebrows, girl. You look like a woolly mammoth with this damn hairline starting from your eyebrow like this. It's like the hair is sprouting out from your eyebrow bone. It's not cute. I don't know who told you it was cute. I don't know who told you it was cute. And then she got this big ass bed knobs and broomsticks nose. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't cute. You ain't cute. Bitch look like the female version of Gary Coleman. Bitch, you about to give me an attitude? Girl, don't get me started on you looking like she getting ready for Halloween 2010. Don't do it to yourself. But you trying to go in on somebody, girl? Listen, don't give me no attitude, girl, because I will roll you out like the red carpet, girl. Joan Rivers, honey, what are you wearing, girl? Nothing, girl. This is not a label. This is not a label, girl. This is trash, girl. Rock the trash bar. Girl, please. But you're gonna get an attitude. Girl, you do not know who you are dealing with. And she stay gallivanting through the campus with this lace front. <laughs> Girl, she be going through the campus with this lace front like she really doing something to everyone. Like, she be gallivanting, swinging her little synthetic hair, girl. Swinging her little, you know, Malibu Barbie weave, girl. She thinks she doing something all matted up shit. Looking like motherfucking Clinton, George Clinton with this weave just matted up like some dreads. Like, just think she doing something. Walking through campus, think everybody looking at her. Yeah, girl, they are all looking at you, girl. But not because they want to compliment you, girl. It's because they want to read your ass for fills. Don't do it to yourself. But let me tell you the best way to get back at someone, okay? Okay, it's success. Because this bitch, I know she was thinking like, oh, he's going to compete. He's going to compete. Yes, bitch, I'm going to compete. And guess what, bitch? I won. So, now that you didn't want me to win, and I did win, girl, eat on that a little bit, girl. Suck on it, bitch. You can suck my booty hole, girl. Because I won. Ha ha ha. Ooh. Bitch, you weren't expecting that outcome. Ah, ah. This is that bonus ending you weren't expecting. Ooh, ooh. Ha ha. And so what? Bitch. Fuck her. On another note, girl, let me just talk about this competition a little bit. I did win the contest. You know, all praise be. And, um, you know, it was a blessing. For more than one reason. It's not even so much the fact that I'm opening up for the three artists that I listed um, earlier on in the um, post. It's the fact that I feel like finally I'm kicking some doors down. And not even just for myself. And, I, and I'm and i not saying, because obviously who the fuck am I? I'm just myself. I'm not, I'm not going to make it bigger than what it is. But I just want to express the fact that, you know, when I got on that stage, I know nobody expected me to win. No one expected me to win. But you cannot deny something when you know it to be the truth. I got on that stage and I just did what was always bestowed upon me to damn do. I got on the mic and I did my number, girl. And you cannot deny the truth, bitch. You know I was slaying these kids for their motherfucking life, bitch. You know I was giving them their coins and their motherfucking doubloons, bitch. So don't sit up here and try to deny me something that you know I earned. It's the point that I'm making. All my life I've had to fight a little bit harder just because I was gay. When I came here, the, the demographic of the audience was, you know, heterosexual, whatever the case might be. You know, it was a good um, portion of men there. And I mean, you know, you know, I mean, by society standards, it would never work. Oh, a person like you will not work in the industry because people are not going to be receptive and open-minded to what you're bringing to the table. However, I have, I have a different story to tell because clearly I was not only accepted, but I was put on to do what it was that I've always been meant to do. Okay? I was accepted and I won. Okay? And it wasn't because just the females were cheering. The men were cheering too. Okay? So I said all that to say this. Anybody out there, and it doesn't even have to do with entertainment. I'm just saying in general. You have a dream. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. Whether it's a, a tacky ass bitch with her tacky ass lace front. 
or if it's somebody else. It could even be family members and friends. Don't let nobody tell you that you cannot do what it is you feel in your heart that it's meant for you to do. Just like Happy Feet, girl. Excuse me, just like Happy Feet. You gotta do what you gotta do. If you feel a song in your heart, then sing it. But if you feel a step in them feet, girl, then step it. It's your life, girl. It's your life, your decision, your time. Do you. Don't let nobody come in and tell you what can't happen and what's not possible, girl. Because Brandy said it best. It's possible. It's possible. Girl, girl, it's all possible. It really is. But first, you gotta believe in yourself. Okay? Because the key is, you believe in yourself, you do what you gotta do, and when you do what you gotta do and you do it with confidence and conviction, guaranteed people will follow suit. Trust. Trust. You do you. Don't even worry about people being wanting to be a part of what you're doing. Don't worry about that. I'm saying... You do you, and watch and see how many people start to rock with it a little bit. Like, word up, though, but this ain't that bad. Try it. See what happens. Try it. On that note, I'm really, I'm super excited. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to chronicle um, for the last week leading up to the actual performance. <sighs> you know, my journey up there, I'm so, I'm nervous, but it's a good nervous. I just want to slay you guys because... This really could be the moment that we've all been waiting for. You know what I'm saying? Like, this could be something. This really could be something. And you all have been there from day one. Or at least day one of me starting the actual journey where it's been actual, actually recorded. But just think about that. I mean, this could really be something. And in my mind, it's like, I can really kick some doors down for not only just myself, but God willing... Those who come after. Because obviously I'm not going to be here forever. And when I'm gone, obviously we don't want the movement to stop. So, kick the door down. Do what you got to do. Make room for the next diva. That's all. So on that note, you guys. I just wanted to come and chop it up with you guys for a minute. You guys are lovely. You guys are amazing. Um, I'm going to, when the semester ends, I'm going to get on quadronline.com. And really start hitting the pavement. I'm trying to figure out. I have an idea for the website. Truthfully, I do. But I'm really waiting to really. Because I don't want to overburden myself. I, but I think this can actually take the burden off me. But we'll see. I don't even want to talk too much about that. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, everybody is well. Um, once more, do you follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. I promise you. Just do it. Just do it. You know what I'm saying? If it works, it works great. You're happy. If it doesn't, then you know. Then you know, but there's nothing worse than having a dream, not doing it, years down the road. I wish I had just tried it and just did it anyway. Don't have any regrets about it. Just do it. So on that, I'm going to let you guys go. Yeah.